Hey guys, this is part two of our chat series. And it's not exactly a series, it's just a couple of videos. Anyway, uh, let's not uh, bring down the vibe here. Uh, this is part two of uh, my uh, chat video. And uh, in, my, in part one, we saw up to this, right? We just uh, created three buttons and we use those buttons to manipulate the actions of a stopwatch. In this video, let's bring in an animated chart that will take in uh, data from this particular stopwatch and uh, show us, uh, represent it in a visually pleasing way. That's exactly what a chart concept is about, right? Anyway, uh, so the first thing to do here is to install that particular uh, package, the library. I've already installed it in this uh, before starting this recording. That is this flutter underscore circular underscore chart. This is the dependency that you'll need to include in your pubspec.yaml file and get back into main.dart file and uh, add it as a dependency at the top of uh, your uh, main.dart file. Once this is done, uh, let's get into our, let's bring our chart here first. So what you need to do is uh, you need to first comment this out. This is our text widget that displays the uh, stopwatch data in a text uh, format right and instead of this you need to uh, bring in that animated circular chart so I'll just copy whatever code I got from the uh, I just pasted some code here just because I was lazy to type it out completely <laughs> anyway uh, what you need to do now was uh, let's start addressing all these errors one by one before that I'll align this. Hmm. First I need to create a key right I'll go ahead and do that. Final global key. Okay now I have a key. Uh, this is of type animated circular uh, chart state. The next thing I need is a chart size right. So I'll go ahead and create that as well. Final chart, uh, sorry, underscore chart size equals constant size uh, uh, 250.0, 250.0, 250.0. Cool. This is done as well. Now the next thing we need to do here is We'll have a label color, uh, color label uh, color equals colors dot blue. Okay, this is for specifying the color of. Uh, anyway, you will see that later in the chart. The next thing we need to do is here instead of we need a function here. We've addressed these two, and now we need to address these two, right? So. First, I'll bring in a label style. Okay, this is addressed as well. Now, I just have one thing that is the whole label thing. For that, I'll just give use the variable elapsed time. That is what I'm going to show in the middle of the uh, circular chart. Elapsed time. Okay. Okay, this is all addressed now. Uh, the only thing we need to do is provide some data to this particular uh, animated circular chart. Now, uh, as I said before, the data would be nothing but the uh, timer value that is being run in the stopwatch, right? Uh, I'll be passing the minute and second alone from that particular uh, timer value. So first, initially, I'll just give it as 0, 0, okay. Uh, first, I'll write this function, generate chart data, this function, I'll go ahead and write it. Okay, now I have uh, created a generate chart data function here. And uh, what this will do is it will simply, it, oh, I didn't return anything. It will simply uh, take in the minutes and seconds as arguments. And then uh, using the seconds, it will simply convert the seconds into a double value and add it as a this, uh, how do I say this? Circular stack entry is nothing but the original chart case. Inside the chart, you can have different segments. That is, 
for each and every uh, set of data in the sample set you will be representing that set that particular set as a segment right in a bar chart there will be different bars right say for instance you want to calculate the uh, i mean project the revenue of a, a company against a, over a time period so 2015 you will have a particular set uh, 2016 you will have a particular uh, set and uh, 2017 you will have a particular set this entire set of data you will call it as sample space right and uh, the revenue will be along the y axis and you will have bars for all the three uh, years so all these bars are called segments and this uh, entire thing is called uh, stack Similarly, consider that this entire uh, thing is a stack and this segment entry represents one particular entity inside that particular chart. If I save this and run this, you will understand what's actually happening here. I have saved this now. If you notice, these three buttons are now pushed to the center. Let's just try tapping on start and see what happens. Okay, nothing actually happens, but if I tap on stop, then it automatically becomes five. So, uh, what? Uh, why is this? Why didn't it happen? On pressing start, this should have happened, right? It didn't happen because we didn't uh, include that in our update timer. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do that as well. Cool. Now, uh, each and every time the watch is running, it will automatically take the milliseconds, convert it into minutes and seconds. And uh, what it will do is it will simply send that minutes and seconds to uh, this particular chart. Uh, I am sending it to that particular chart using the chart key. And I am currently, uh, I mean updating the current state of that chart with this but new data. You get it, right? So now whenever I tap on, I will show you. Reset this. Now whenever I tap on the start button, see? You automatically see a small uh, curved line here appearing at the top and it goes on and on uh, in a circular fashion. That's as per the size of uh, this. And you can also specify a radius for this chart over here itself. Uh, here I haven't specified it. But uh, in essence, there is an attribute using which you can specify a radius of the chart as well. And uh, that circular thing will uh, be... Uh, distance accordingly uh, anyway this is how you bring in the i mean this is how you map your uh, stopwatch value with the chart okay all this is fine but the value is already 4 to 6 and there are only 60 seconds to a minute right but we have just completed around half of the uh, entire circle so when it comes to 59 it will be around here it will be around 60 percent of the entire circle right this is because we are using the percentage percentage value. So 60 percentage represents somewhere around here. And uh, for 100 percentage, it should be 100 seconds. That is 1 minute and 40 seconds. Only upon 1 minute and 40 seconds, it will reach here. We need to fix this, right? So how do we fix this? We need to do a very simple calculation. Uh, that is, instead of incrementing the seconds value as such to this particular chart uh, segment, you need to just increment 1.6 for every one second, right? You'll understand that. Wait, I'll show you. Okay, first, I'll stop this since my laptop is a bit too old and the RAM. Anyway, uh, let's not talk. Start talking about my laptop. Uh, that rant. I'll have that for a separate day, maybe. Uh, where was I? Yeah, inside the generate chart, I said I'll fix the second problem, right? So to do that, first I'll create a double value, double temporary equals uh, second into uh, point 0.6, okay. And uh, double adjusted second seconds equals uh, second plus temp. So when it is one second, it will be uh, 1.6. This adjusted seconds will be 1.6. When it is two seconds, it will be uh, adjusted seconds will be around uh, 3.2, right? You get where we are going with this, right? 2 seconds in the sense, 2 into 0.6 will be 1.2 and we are adding that with the second. So, 2 plus 1.2, 3.2.
so when it is 3 seconds it will be 4.8 and so on and so on so when it is 60 seconds it will automatic wait you will see that rather than me trying to explain this in uh, voice format if you see that visually you will understand it better right so here we can simply replace it with adjusted seconds cool now let's see what happens sorry I'll simply reset this entire thing. Oh, reset doesn't remove this entire. Uh, that's because we haven't. We'll copy this and then add this inside set time as well. But here we'll simply give zero comma zero. Cool. Now if you reset, this entire thing vanishes, right? And also, yeah, this is okay. Now, if I tap on start, it should the 60 seconds should enter represent an entire circle. You can clearly see that it's moving at a faster pace than it was moving previously, right? If you didn't notice that previously, kindly uh, <laughs> rewind this video back to that particular spot and then. Uh, see that so 15 seconds has already been here and 30 seconds by 30 seconds it will be somewhere around here cool right so by 59 seconds it will be around here you get uh, what we did here right since it's percentage we are simply calculating the percentage guys right for 60 seconds one percentage is 0.6 right so seconds into 0.6 and add that value to the number of seconds that's it so uh, if you feed that value to this particular segment entry then for each and every second it will increment it accordingly and uh, it, the visual effect would be uh, complete so one minute is almost uh, done right it was almost accurate not exactly accurate almost accurate but after 59 seconds we will alt automatically reset this entire uh, uh, circular entry back to zero so uh, no one's actually going to notice whether uh, at one second it was com one minute it was complete or not Anyway, uh, we have done this. If I click on stop, this entire ring will go because set time we have set it to uh, 0, 0.0, 0, 0, 0, right? We are updating it as 0, 0. Uh, anyway, uh, now that we have finished the seconds hand of the clock, let's go ahead and do one for uh, the minute hand as well. 